So most video content creators would say that having the best equipments really help enhance the quality of your video. But at the same time, there is also something that is so much more essential than having the best equipment and that is having the best video editing software for yourself. So guys, in this video, we're gonna be talking about some of the video editing softwares that we might be able to use on both our laptops or our mobile phones. And we're starting right now. Hey, what's up and welcome back to the channel. So if this is our first time meeting, my name is Harris Kari and I'm a Nigerian YouTuber. And this is kind of my second channel on YouTube. And the whole reason why I started this channel was because I noticed a lot of people are going into YouTube and are always asking a lot of questions about how to go about on YouTube, you know, how to edit the videos, how to create the videos, what to do, how to post and everything. So I just started this channel brand new just to help every person that have those kind of questions. So if you know anyone who wants to start a YouTube channel or maybe already has a YouTube channel but is kind of going through a lot of things, please share this video with them and also let them know that they can always subscribe to this channel and always comment in the comment section, you know, anytime they have a question, always leave it in the comment section because I really want this channel to be so engaging and interactive because I want it to be like a one-on-one -on -one between me and you guys. So anyway, let's get back to the video. So as I mentioned in the intro, today we're going to be talking about some of the video editing softwares and applications out there. Maybe just to help you, you know, pick one of them that you feel might be more compatible with you and everything. And also we're going to pick one that we're going to be doing our video editing tutorials with on this channel. So one thing that you might need to know about the whole video editing is that it is the core of the whole video content creation because you might use all the tools that you have to record the video, record your audio, you know, do the whole shooting and everything, the B-rolls, but the video editor is what gives you the opportunity to bring all those clips pictures, sound, and everything all together to create the video content. In a nutshell, that shows you how important the video editor is. So here are some things that you might need to consider when picking or choosing the best video editing software for you. First of all, let's talk about compatibility. How compatible is this software or application to your device? If you're using it on a laptop or maybe a computer system, how compatible is the software with your computer? Does it make your computer slow or does it work fast? So you need to consider that when you're installing the right software for you. And the second factor you should consider is the ease of use. How easy is this application to you? Like how much do you understand about this application? Does it kind of confuse you when you're trying to use it or maybe is it that easy for you? So you need to consider that when you're picking it too. Then the third one is the price. Like not all these applications are free, but some of them have the free versions and also the pro versions. So you don't really need to have the pro versions to start using any of these applications. They have the free versions. So I think since we're just starting, the free versions of these applications would be okay for us to go ahead and start creating video content so don't worry about the price right now I think the price might be maybe kind of something you would worry about in the future you know when you really need to buy because when you buy all these applications you get a lot of more privileges than you get when you're using the free version of them and the fourth factor which is the last on my list is the effects so the effects are also things that you might need to consider you know moving forward when you're when you're so much into the whole video editing but when you're starting i don't think that is really important so the effects might be anything like transitions maybe the text that you might add the overlay and everything like all those you know kind of things that you might need to add on your videos to make it more spicy but when you're just starting i don't think those are really important to you so now let's go ahead and list some of the video editing softwares that you might be able to use on your computer system or your laptops so number one which is the most common one is Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you know how to use Adobe Premiere Pro, I would say kudos, because I am still kind of finding it a little bit complicated, you know? So I don't really use Adobe Premiere Pro, but if you use it, Adobe Premiere Pro has a free version which gives you access to a certain limit, but you know, you need to have the pro version to access some parts of the software. So moving to the next one, which is Final Cut. So if you know Final Cut, you know that this is a very beginner friendly software. So this one, I don't think you would have a lot of problems learning how to use it and everything. But you know, once you just create one video or two from it, you would get the hang of it. So moving to the third one, which is iMovie. And this one is actually for those of you using a Mac. So if you're using an Apple computer, iMovie is something that you would really find very beginner friendly and also would really help you, you know, 
learn how to do the whole edits and everything from the basic step and now number four which is kind of my best anyway this is the one i use every single day and i think i've been using it for over three years right now and that is wondershare femora so i think this is the one we're going to be using on this channel because this is the one that i have been using for a long time and i know a lot about this so i think we're going to be doing our whole video editing tutorials using this software and i have both the 9 and 10 so i think we're going to be switching between them and i'll be showing you some of the things that they have on these softwares and the last one on my list is davinci resolve so davinci resolve 2 is a beginner friendly software so i really believe that if you download this software you won't really have any problem you know learning how to edit or anything but anyway let's move to the mobile editing applications so now for the mobile phone video editing applications like you know already some social media applications like tiktok have their own inbuilt video editing platform so the video editor on tiktok gives you the opportunity to put different clips all together add effects change the whole filter and everything and extract the final project as a whole video content but at the same time you can also use other third-party applications to edit your videos you know and just make them look a little bit more spicy and everything but i'm not i'm not trying to hate on tiktok or anything but you know you could actually make your videos outside of tiktok and post them on tiktok so i'm going to be telling you some of the applications that you can use to create those kind of video contents for maybe a youtube tiktok instagram it doesn't really matter i think they all create those kind of content so the first one on my list is InShot. so i think InShot is so common that i don't really need to talk about InShot that much you know it's a video editing software and at the same time it is also a picture editing software so most people use it to edit their pictures maybe you know add filters and all those things InShot does all those things it edits your pictures it edits your videos so you can use InShot to do that and also as much as you can always try to avoid applications that put watermark on your videos so that would make it look you know a bit less professional or anything but anyway i think InShot provides you with ads to watch so you could be able to remove that uh watermark on your videos or pictures so always try to remove the watermark from your videos before you post them on any other platform and number two on my list is femora go so femora go i think is the one we're going to be using for your mobile phone editing because femora go is also a brand of wondershare femora as i talked about in the video editing software you know for your computers so wondershare femora go is it's so easy to use like it doesn't have any complication or anything it's just so straightforward so that's why i love that application i use it to edit my videos on my mobile phone if i don't really like you no know, maybe small videos if i don't really need to take them to my computer so femora go is the application for me on my mobile phone so that is what we're going to be using to edit videos on mobile phone on this channel and number three on my list is vlog it so vlog it 2 is a brand of femora so I think Vlogit 2 sometimes we might be editing videos on Femora Go and also on Vlogit because Vlogit is more like a fast paced you know kind of editing software because its whole concept is actually in a portrait form you'll be able to edit your videos while moving you know while you're walking or something you'll be able to edit your whole videos and everything you don't need to sit down or anything add your overlays text uh audios and everything so sometimes on this channel we're going to be using vloggy 2 to edit some videos and the fourth one on my list is video leap so video leap is an ios application i really love this application too because i use it on my iphone when i'm editing videos and video leap 2 has a pro version but i think the free version would be okay for us to create as much content as we want to create because you know it has a lot of effects and filters that we can add to our video content and everything you know so we will not really need to have the pro version to you know make a very very spicy video or anything because i actually create most of my instagram reels or maybe uh, my tiktok videos on video leap so i then extract them and post them on my instagram and my tiktok and the last on my list for the mobile phone applications is kind master but kind master is kind of like i would say a professional video editing platform like an application for the mobile phone because like it has a lot of things there because some people actually like i think i would say create short movies from kind master on their mobile phones but i'm not really a professional in kind master so i won't really say i know how to do all those kind of things but it is a really good application to use too so if maybe you want to you know go so deep into the whole video editing on mobile i think kind master would be the right thing for you but anyway we're going to be using tomorrow go and vlog it on this channel so guys there you go the list of my video editing softwares and applications that i just wanted to suggest for you guys so anyone you feel just resonates more with you please i would suggest you go ahead and get that application or that software because i don't want you guys to just rely on the ones that i said i'm going to be using on this channel because 
you know everyone has their own different kind of taste so the femora is my taste so you guys could maybe try something else you know try all the other applications and see which one resonates more with you and also i think all these applications these mobile applications are on the uh, play store and also on the apple store so i think if you if you just want to get any of them you can go ahead and just check the stores like the play store and the apple store are always available for you so for the computer softwares i have a website where i download all of my computer softwares from and you know some of them kind of come with a crack or something like that but anyway that's not the reason why i'm telling you this but the website is pcwonderland.com so i'll leave that website in my description so you guys can go ahead and check it out the website has almost every kind of software that you might be looking for in the world but you know i didn't say they have any every kind of software but they have a lot of softwares so you can go ahead and check there if you find the software that you are looking for there then congratulations but if you don't find it then i think maybe if anyone knows any other website that people could get those kind of softwares from just leave it in the comment section so we could help each other here i think i also have another one which is i get into pc.com anyway i'll leave them in the description so you guys could go ahead and check and see maybe if you could find all these softwares that i just mentioned so anyway guys just let me know if this video helped you in the comment section and also if you enjoyed it and maybe learned something from this video please go ahead and smash the like button and if you want to like join this family and also you know learn and grow together as we go please go ahead and subscribe to this channel and also let me know in the comment section what you need me to talk about what you want me to talk about in the next video so i'll be able to see what i can do so guys i'll see you in the next video peace